Let us now learn about the different types of centers of a triangle. And the first one that we are going to look at is the centroid. Technically, centroid is the point where the entire mass of the triangle is concentrated. But in terms of geometry, we can say that centroid is the point of intersection of the three medians of a triangle. Or it is the point where the three medians of the triangle meet. Now, what is meant by median? Median is a line that connects the vertex of a triangle with the midpoint of the opposite side. Or a line that connects the midpoint of a side with the opposite vertex. Let us understand this with the help of a simple illustration. Now here we have a triangle ABC. As I mentioned median is a line that joins the vertex of the triangle with the midpoint of opposite side. So the opposite side here is BC. Let us assume that the midpoint of the side BC is D here. So the median would be AD. The line joining vertex with the midpoint of opposite side. So AD is one of the medians. One important point to be noted here is that every median will divide the triangle into two equal parts. So here the median AD has divided the triangle ABC into two equal parts. First triangle is ABD and the second one is ADC. And the area of each of these triangles is equal, right? The area of triangle ABD will be equal to the area of the triangle ADC, right? Likewise, we have two other medians which also divide the triangle into two parts, two equal parts, right? For example, if you look at the side AC, let us take the midpoint of the side AC as E. Right, the midpoint of side AC is A. So the line joining B to E will be the second median. Right, so this is the second median BE. Now BE again divides the triangle ABC into two parts. The first part is ABE and the second part is EBC. And the area of each of these parts is same. And the third median here would be the line joining the vertex C with the midpoint of AB. Let's assume the midpoint of AB is F. So the line joining C with F or F with C is the third median. And if you observe, all these three medians intersect at a common point, right? All these three medians are meeting at a common point, which is called the centroid of the triangle, denoted by G, right? The centroid is denoted by the letter G, okay? So the centroid of the triangle G, as we see from this uh, illustration here, is the point of intersection of all the three medians here, okay? So median is a line joining a vertex of a triangle with the midpoint of opposite side. Median divides a triangle into two equal parts and the point of intersection of the medians is the centroid. Remember that centroid is always within the a triangle, right? It never lies outside the triangle. Centroid always falls inside the boundary of the triangle there. Now, one important and interesting fact here is that the centroid always divides the median in the ratio of two is to one where two parts are on the vertex side and one part is on the base side. Centroid G here always divides any median in the ratio of 2 is to 1, right? And two parts are on the vertex side, one part on the base side. For example, if you look at the median AD, right? If you see the points A, G and D are collinear. G lies between A and D. And G divides the line AD in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Two parts on the vertex side. That means the distance from A to G is two parts and the distance from G to D is one part. So the ratio is 2 is to 1. Alright, so we can say that AG by GD, AG by GD will be equal to 2 by 1. The ratio is 2 by 1. And not just for this median, right? Even the remaining two medians get divided by the centroid in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So always remember two parts on the vertex side and one part on the base side. So if you look at the median BE, B to G is two parts and G to E will be one part. So we can say BG by GE is also 2 is to 1. And similarly for the third median CF, we can say CG by GF. The ratio is always 2 is to 1. So an important conclusion here is that uh, centroid always divides uh, the median into ratio of 2 is to 1. Okay. Now another important conclusion or important point that we need to understand here is that if you look at the centroid G and the three vertices of the triangle ABC, we get uh, three triangles within the original triangle, right? The first triangle here is ABG, right? The triangle ABG. The second triangle is ACG and the third triangle is BCG, right? So these three triangles which are formed by two vertices of the original triangle and the centroid together make the original triangle ABC here, right? So the first triangle ABG, second triangle ACG and the third triangle BCG, right? If you connect these three triangles, we get the original triangle ABC. 
and interestingly the area of each of these smaller triangles is equal to one third of the original triangle right so the second conclusion here is that area of triangle abg triangle abg is equal to the area of uh, triangle bcg bcg is equal to the area of the triangle area of the triangle uh, ACG right ACG the area of each of these triangles is equal to one third of the area of original triangle ABC the original triangle ABC right so for example let's say uh, the question says that the area of the triangle ABC is 48 square units right area of the triangle ABC is 48 square units then what is the area of the triangle ACG where G is the centroid now you know that area of triangle ACG will be one third of the area of the total triangle or the complete triangle so one third of 48 square units which is equal to 16 right so we can say the area of the triangle ACG is 16 square units and not only ACG the area of BCG will also be 16 units and ABG will also be 16 square units so that's again an important point on which questions can be asked in competitive exams right the point is uh, the area of the triangle formed by two of the vertices and the center of the triangle will be equal to one third of the area of the original triangle ABC and now the third and a very important conclusion here this is based on Apollonius theorem the theorem here states that in a triangle ABC if the median is AB then we can say that AB squared plus AC squared will be two times of the median AD squared plus half of the third side which can be taken as BD or DC so let's say BD square or this is equal to 2 times of AD square plus CD square CD square so this is again an important conclusion which is based on the median of a triangle right this is based on a theorem which is known as Apollonius theorem right named after the person who has derived this it says that in a triangle ABC where AD is the median the sum of the squares of two sides AB square plus AC square right these are the two sides let's say AB square and AC square so the sum of the squares of these two sides will be equal to two times the square of the median the square of the median is AD square plus the square of half of the third side right we have already considered the two sides AB and AC now the third side here is BC we have to take half of the third side now we very well know that uh, the median is the line joining a vertex with the midpoint of opposite side so D here is a midpoint now half of the third side can be taken as BD or DC right these two are equal BD is equal to DC so half of the third side can be taken as BD square or it can be taken as CD square so this is a theorem uh, you know derived by a mathematician named Apollonius and named after him which says uh, if there is a triangle ABC with a median AD then AB square plus AC square will be equal to two times of AD square plus BD square or two times of AD square plus CD square and not just for this median we can take any of the medians here for example if you look at the median BE then as per the theorem the statement goes as follows right if we look at the triangle ABC with the median BE then we'll say BA square plus BC square all right BA square plus BC square will be equal to two times BE square plus half of the third side which can be taken as uh, AE square so BA square plus BC square equals to two times of B square plus AE square and likewise for the third median CF square I mean a uh, third median CF how will the equation look like we'll say CA square plus CB square will be equal to two times of CF square plus AF square or CF squ two times of CF square plus BF square so that's a very important uh, conclusion which we need to remember so that if at all a question is asked on this, this theorem it will be easy for us to arrive at the final answer and the last point with respect to a median is as follows if the given triangle ABC is equilateral where all the three sides and the three angles are equal then all the three medians would also be equal right and if the triangle is an isosceles one then only two of the medians would be equal so this is again an important point which you need to remember that in an equilateral triangle the three medians are equal whereas in an isosceles triangle only two of the medians are equal in length so that's about the first center of a triangle that is centroid which is the point of intersection of the medians of the triangle and some of its properties as i've listed here